this video, we will see how to add the EID to our core application. What we want to have is a button in the Add Person form to import data from the EID card to automatically fill in the person information. Let's see what we need to do for this to happen. The first thing we will need is a library capable of interacting with the Belgian EID card. We use the open source Commons EID library, published by the eContract.de company. To use this library, we need to add a few things to our Maven configuration file. First, the library is not available from the standard Maven repository. So, we need to add the eContract.be repository in the pom.xml file. This way, Maven knows where it can download the binaries. In the dependencies, we also need to add some artifacts. The client, consumer and dialogues modules of Commons EID, which give us the main tools we need to get basic access to the ID card. Let's now look at the create person form. We have a button there, which by default is disabled. We want the button to be disabled either when there is no ID card connected, or when we are editing a person as you don't want to overwrite a person's data by mistake. In the constructor, the create person form, we check if the current person attribute is null and if there is a card connected, and we set the button accordingly. When the import from id button is clicked, we set the form fields using our set person method and reading the information from the ID card. The core part of the code will be in this BID class, which we've used in the create person form. We want this class to be able to check if there is a card inserted in the card reader and to read the information in the card. Another thing we want is to make sure that this class is not instantiated more than once. This is to avoid the different parts of the program attempt to use the card at the same time, causing a possible conflict. To make sure that this does not happen, we use the singleton design pattern. In the singleton design pattern, the constructor of the class is made private, which means that it cannot be called directly from any other class in the application. The only instance of the class that can exist is the private static instance attribute which we can access with the public static getInstance method. In the getInstance method, we check if there is already an existing instance of the BID class. If there is, we return it. If not, we create it. This way, we are sure that there is at most one instance running in the application. The rest of the code just uses the library to implement the different functionalities. In the constructor, we create an instance of BID cards, which is the main class from Commons EID to interact with the card readers. We also create simple wrapper functions around the hascard terminals and hasBIDcards methods, which will return true if there is respectively a card reader and an ID card connected to the computer. Finally, we have a read method where we retrieve a connected ID card and read the identity information and the photo. We see that the information is read as raw byte code. To get a more easily manipulated object, we use classes from Commons EID to pass the data into an identity object, which we can use to fill in the different attributes of a person object. Let's now run this program. We have connected an ID card to our card reader. When we click on the Add Patient button, we see that the Import from ID button is enabled. When we click on it, we see that there is a slight delay as reading information from the ID card takes some time. Then, all the fields, as well as the picture, are automatic automatically filled in and we can insert the person into the database. 